Hey guys, it's Amon and Christina from, from Our Rich, Rich Journey. Journey. In this video, we are introducing seven new side hustles that you can do. But the best part about these side hustles is you can do each one of them from home. In fact, you don't even have to get out of bed in order to do these side hustles and start making money. So our channel is all about making money, saving money, and investing money on the road to financial independence. And part of our financial independence journey was doing side hustles, making extra money so we could invest that money. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video today. We're gonna to give you seven brand new side hustles that you can start today and that you can start from your house. Now, Christina mentioned that these are seven brand new side hustles. If you've been watching our channel, you know that we have a lot of side hustle videos. And so we're gonna to link to those videos below. So after you watch this video, go check out those videos. So let's get started with these side hustles. Now the first side hustle is testing websites for cash. There's a site called User Testing where they pay people to look at different websites and different apps and to provide feedback on those things and you get paid for each one you review. So the way it works is you visit a website or app, you complete a set of tasks and you speak your thoughts out loud and your reactions are recorded as you go through the website. For example, you may be asked to provide your initial thoughts on a website. So you could go to the website and as you're looking at it, you might say, ah, I think the font is a little too small here. I like the logo. I think the colors are a little too bright, things like that. And the task may also ask you to look for something specific. Like if it's an online retail site, it may ask you to look for dresses ranging from $50 to $100 and your screen is recorded as you do the task and you'll also sort of narrate what you're doing along the way, which is also recorded. So for example, you might say, in looking at this page, it isn't immediately apparent how I can sort dresses by price range. I would expect that a sorting option would be somewhere to the left of the site or maybe even at the top, but I don't see it until I navigate all the way down to the bottom of the page. So that's how you do it, but let's talk about how much you get paid. User testing pays $10 per test, and each test is about 20 minutes long. But if you provide live feedback to a client, it can pay up to $60 per test. To do the user testing, you need a computer, internet connection, and a microphone, and you have to download their testing software, which captures your reaction as you're viewing the assigned website. You need to be at least 18, and you need to be fluent in English. To sign up, you just need to submit your email, fill out some basic demographic information, and take a sample test. And the next side hustle is very timely because of the current situation that's going on in the world right now. And it is tutoring students online. I mean, there are a lot of kids that are out of school right now who still need to maintain their educational momentum. So there's a site called Check that pays people to provide online tutoring. The site is designed to tutor middle schoolers, high schoolers, college students, and professionals. Check pays $20 an hour for a live lesson with a student, but you also get paid $20 an hour for time you spend writing an explanation for a student's lesson. And you can also earn a bonus. So if you tutor online in a high demand subject, you can get more money in the form of a bonus. And what's great is that Check has tutors for thousands of different subjects. So they have the typical subjects like calculus and biology, things like that, but they also have subjects like zoology, antitrust law, even voice lessons. And the way it works is that Chegg directs students to tutors based on the tutor's expertise. And the tutors can also reply to the student help requests whenever they have free time. To qualify as a Chegg tutor, you need to have some sort of tutoring, instruction, or teaching experience. And you need to either be enrolled in a four-year university or have graduated from a four-year university. To apply, you have to provide some basic information about yourself, you need to provide your tutoring or teaching experience, and you need to list the subjects that you want to tutor in. You also need to provide a photo of yourself along with a 60 second video introducing yourself. And the next side hustle is selling photos or just stock photos in general. And the easiest way to get started with this is just going through your camera phone, looking at photos that you've taken, or looking at digital photos you've saved on your computer. And one thing to note, you do not have to be a professional photographer to make money with stock photos. In fact, you can be taking photos with your smartphone. As long as the photos are interesting and you're able to categorize them, you can resell those photos. So there are many different options with selling photos. You can sell your photos in mass on stock image sites like Shutterstock, iStock, or Adobe Stock, or you can sell exclusive rights to your photos on sites like Getty Images. Now, depending on which site you use, there'll be different submission requirements, review times, and exclusivity policies. Potential earnings also vary. So in general, if you go with a stock site, you get about 25 to 50 cents per photo. But if you sell a high resolution photo on Getty Images, you could get $150 with a single sale. 
The next side hustle are for those foodies, but not just any foodie. It's the foodie that is organized enough to write down their recipes. But in addition to writing down your recipes, make a video of yourself making food. You see, there are a ton of magazines and blogs out there that will pay you for your recipes, that will pay you for your instruction in making those foods. And so this next side hustle are for those type of people. So there's a site called Cuisine at Home and they pay $50 for recipes and any amazing kitchen tips. So if you have a cool tip for preparing a meal or solving a cooking problem, you can submit that to Cuisine at Home and get paid $50. But Cuisine at Home is not your only option. There's another magazine called Eating Well, and if you can create recipes that focus on good health or interesting food stories, they will also pay you for that. In fact, they pay up to $1 per word, and their articles usually range from 150 to 400 words, so that's $150 to $400. And finally, if you want to keep things simple, you could submit a recipe to food bloggers. There's a food blogging site called Cooking for Engineers. They pay anywhere between $10 to $20 per recipe. And the next side hustle is for people that are bilingual. And this side hustle is doing translation work online. So there's this site called Gengo.com and Gengo pays people to translate all sorts of different languages and how much you can earn depends on your primary language. So for example, the average monthly income for someone translating something into English is $417. For people translating something to French, the average monthly income is 561 and to translate something into Japanese, the average monthly income is $543. So the way it works is you have to sign up and take a two-part test that assesses your translation skills. Once you're accepted, there's a dashboard on the site that shows available work and you decide whether you want to work on a particular assignment or not. And jobs are taken on a first-come, first-served basis. As a translator, you'll have a personalized scorecard that rates the quality of your work and translators with higher quality scores have access to more jobs and to higher paying jobs. And the next side hustle is for people that have really great penmanship, and that is handwriting letters. I mean, nowadays we are so used to communicating via email, but people really genuinely enjoy getting handwritten letters in the mail also. So you can form a business around handwriting letters. I mean, the last time I received a handwritten letter was a love letter that Christina wrote me years ago. Now she emails me or texts me those love letters. But Christina is absolutely right. There are people that enjoy receiving a letter in the mail that is handwritten. So the idea here is if you have nice handwriting, you could start a side hustle where you send handwritten letters to people and people can email you the text and you can handwrite the text into a letter. And if you live somewhere cool that has really cool or interesting landmarks, you could start a business selling handwritten postcards to people. So for example, if you live in Paris, people could pay you to send a postcard from Paris to them. Or they can have you send a postcard to their niece or cousin or grandparent. There are so many different variations of what you can do. And you can set your own prices also. You can set up your services on your own website or you can list your services on Etsy or somewhere like Fiverr. And the next side hustle are for people that like to create logos or designs or they have different catchy little sayings that they can put onto products. So if you like creating logos and designs or you can come up with cool sayings, you can sell these on more than 20 different products on a site called Teespring. So you can sell your designs on phone cases, mugs, socks, posters, t-shirts, tons of different things and you don't have any upfront costs. The way it works is you upload your design and create your online store on Teespring, which is free, and you advertise the products on your online store to potential customers. And when you get an order, Teespring does all of the production and shipping. So for example, if someone buys a t-shirt with your design on it, Teespring prints your design on a t-shirt, ships it to the buyer, and sends you your cut. And the cool thing is there's a baseline for each product and you get to set your own price. So anything you charge over the baseline all goes to you. So for example, the baseline cost of a t-shirt is $10 on Teespring. So if you list a t-shirt for $19, Teespring places the logo on the t-shirt, ships the t-shirt to the customer, and gives you $9 for each t-shirt sale. So those are seven different side hustles that you can start today. And what's so cool is you don't even have to leave your home to start making money. You see, our channel is all about making money, saving money, and investing money on the journey towards financial independence. And a side hustle is a great way to shorten that journey. You see, when we were on our journey, we used that side hustle money to grow our wealth. 
and it was a powerful tool. And so take a look at these side hustles. Maybe do one, do two, do all seven, but use that money to help you on your journey. And as usual, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and join, join the, the journey. journey.